Okay, folks, listen, welcome back to week three of the five part series. Get your grill on, right? Now, listen, we're going to keep up with that theme that we've been doing. Listen, we're going to be making a dish for Mother's Day. We're going to be making stuffed bell peppers. And guess what, folks? We're going to be doing it on the grill. Go to get your grill on page on walmart.com to get your recipes and ingredients for each week of the series. It's in partnership with Walmart. It's Mother's Day coming up. You guys can see I got some refreshing ingredients right here. You know what I mean? Uh, we got the honeysuckle white, you know, ground turkey. I'm just going over these. Look, we got bell peppers because we're doing stuffed bell peppers, right? But I want you to pay attention when you get over here looking at this pasta. Look, pasta, when you see these right here, they get you thinking like, ooh, it's got to be refreshing. We got avocados and some assortments of other ingredients, right? And then right here, this is where we're going to tie it all together. This is that Hellman's Italian herb and garlic, you know, mayo slash dressing. So, hey, this recipe is going to be perfect to share for Mother's Day. All right, so I'm using the Kingsford original, right? I use this. Listen, this is my trusty brand. I can tell you this right now. I can. The main thing is I just said it. It's like I can trust it. You know what I mean? I know what to expect. And I love the flavor, folks. I know they have different, you know, different favorite flavor uh, briquettes. But listen, we grew up on the original. The original still works. And I just love the profile. Now, with me setting up my grill, notice I put everything, all of my briquettes on one side, right? I already had some, you know, coals down there, briquettes, right? So I poured that hot ones on the top, let those light, and I'm gonna be able to put my cast iron because we gotta cook that. We got to cook that turkey, folks. All right, now listen, let's talk about, let me give you guys some like pro tips, right? So listen, I made all my measurements, right? I put them in these little small little candy di dishes right here, or these little small bowls, right? So I separated like how I'm gonna need it. So first of all, everything on this side, right? Look, over here, that's gonna be for the stuffed bell peppers. And then everything from here on this side, that's gonna be for the pasta salad, right? All right, folks, let me grab my turkey, my cast iron, and let's come on over here to the grill. Now, you can see, I got it right now, it's set. We running at about 400 you know, degrees, right? And that's Fahrenheit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and put my cast iron right over the coals. We're gonna use this just as if it was in the oven, right? So we gotta get some heat in here, All right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little oil in here now just to get it going, just a little bit. All right, so once you got everything you know, nice and hot, right? I'm gonna go ahead, cut this open. This honeysuckle white lean ground turkey he is great for any occasion. It's fresh and available in multiple lean points. For example, this right here is 85.15. Got myself one of these little mashers, and this right here helps me break this up. I just want to get more surface, more contact with the surface, right? So that we can go ahead and cook it. All right, so listen, I closed my top. You know why? Because I want to infuse it with some of this, you know, this Kingsford charcoal flavor on there, right? So listen, that's why we out here on the grill. We trying to do like level up, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this over here like this. And we just gonna look at it. And now that it's cooking good, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and break it up because we want to have small ground pieces. So I got this broken up pretty good. If you can take a look, look at that. Now I'm getting ready to add my seasoning. And don't forget the full ingredient list. I know I keep saying it, but I want you guys to make sure, you know, you might want to make this. So the full ingredient list is on my website and on walmart.com. So now we're getting ready to come with our onions, right? Let me make a little room. You guys got to love the spring because my little man right now, you can hear him in the background. He told me, never mind him. He finna put in some work because he looking for a mate. All right, now I'm finna load up my press. All right, because we're gonna put a little bit of this garlic in there. All right, you guys look right here. Listen, why are we still mincing garlic, folks? Notice I put it on the top. Now I get to work this around. All right, and now I'm getting ready to come with my my diced tomatoes. Now I'm gonna bring just a little bit of this rice. We're gonna mix this in, and with the heat from the skillet, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it right now. So now we just mix this in like this. 
you know what I mean? And then I'm going to put it back on just to warm it up a little bit, you know, once I get ready to do my stuffing, right? But I want to add a little bit of cheese inside of here too. Now you guys can make it any kind of way you want to. I just like to add a little cheese in it just so that, you know, every bite, every forkful will have this amazing. And when I tell you amazing, because listen, it's fla flavorful. And if you don't believe me, come on in here and take a look at that right there. Yes, sir. Okay, folks, so look, if you take a look right here, I didn't already prep these two bell peppers, but I'm gonna show you how I got that. Now I'm gonna be doing it in this little, you know, little dish right here. Listen, it is, you know, oven safe, so it's gonna be good for the grill because we only gonna do 350, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna spray your dish with a non-stick cooking spray. Now, this is what I do. You can see sometimes when you buy bell peppers, they don't always stand up. Some of them like this, blah, 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 right? So if you take them, hold it where you want it to be straight, and then you just wanna cut down. Now you gotta, look, now it's level. Right, you can save that. Then I take it right here and then I cut the top off. I just want to keep it level also. And I want to do it just like that. You see that? That's what you want to have, right? So now I get in here with my small knife and I just cut it right here at that, at that little vein, right? I call it a rib, but somebody told me you call it a vein or whatever. So I'm trying to just like do it right, folks. Right, so this comes out all the seeds. You drop that in the trash. And if you want to do a little cleanup, you can with that going. But for the most part, check this out. Boom. Now, you remember we just cut this off the bottom? I could dice this down and put this inside of my rice and, you know, my turkey, right? Just to add a little bit more flavor. You guys, I'm giving you guys options. You guys do whatever it is that you'd like to do. You know what I mean? But it's really about leveling up. And don't forget, folks, we getting our grill on. All right, so here we go. Now I'm just going to take this. I probably should have got a bigger spoon. You know what I mean? And I'm just going to pack this in here just like this right when I say pack you'll see why because now I'm about halfway right I like to put a little bit of cheese in here and I'll put some on top then we're gonna push it down I'll take the back of the spoon just push it down like this and we do that and then we end up with a little cheese like this on the top now, for those of you guys that have the, the uh, slices, you can just put a slice right over the top. Right? Real easy. Now, you see how much this made at almost a little bit under a pound and a half. So, listen, these are great. You know, mama going to love these. You know what I mean? So, you put these out. You can make multiple of these. And with me talking right now, I'm not finna bore you guys. You guys got it. And then I'll show you the next step. And then we put them back into the, to the grill. Now you just want to get yourself some oil. I'm using olive oil and you just want to paint the sides, right? This right here promote browning. You know what I mean? Now, this is what you're going to need to help it cook, right? So let me finish this and let's get these in there. Coals, nice and hot. I got it vented properly for 400. I'm going to set it over here on this side. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to have the camera come around here. Look, you can see it glistening, you know, from the olive oil on there. We're going to get something nice. And then it's going to melt that cheese. Listen, I'm not going to over talk it. I'm going to put this top on. And this is going to build up to about 400 degrees. So now that we have it in here, look, I didn't almost come up to 400 degrees. I got it vented to where I like it. You know what I mean? So listen, it's only going to take about 15 minutes, right? Then we'll be able to see it. Now I'm going to tell you where I get my confidence from. Listen, it's really using these kings for, you know, the original blend, right? This right here, they, they perfect, right? You can light them and they ready in like about 15 minutes. I'm going to say just pretty much right at 15 minutes, they ready, right? A lot of edges on the end that, you know, catch that amber, you know, that heat. And then after that, they burn and they burn solid, folks. Hey, you know what? I feel crazy having to say this though, but I done seen people out here on the internet doing this. Listen, please don't grill with no open toe shoes. All right, so look, now we are gonna go ahead and put this together. We got about, maybe about seven or eight more minutes over there. You know what I mean, on the grill. So now I'm gonna, gonna take my, look, this is my Hillman's. Again, this is the Italian herb and garlic, you know, dressing right here, right? So we are gonna start with about a half a cup. Now this will create a creamy and flavorful pasta sauce. And now for the rest of these ingredients, remember how I had them grouped? Take a look. We take these and we just start adding that to it, right? Now this right here is like just a little bit of honey. I mean, you're gonna have to work with that honey, right? You're dry. And again, the full ingredient list will be on my website and it's on walmart.com. Pinch of salt and that fresh black cracked pepper. 
I gotta say it that way, man, because it's like I can't say that all fast, or whatever. But just get your grind on with your pepper. And then you know what we gotta do. We're gonna mix and then we gotta taste. Then we make an adjustment here. We wanna make this to our liking. And don't forget, we're serving this to people, right? Specifically, mama. Okay, so you see, we got the pasta. Listen, you cook these to the instructions that's on your box. You know what I mean? Now I'm gonna add my black beans. I've already drained these. Right, I'm just gonna get in here and just give it a little bit of a, a little mix, a little rough mix. Now I'm getting ready to come with my corn. Tell me this not gonna put a smile on your, your mama's face or any of the women in your life face. And then we're gonna put this onion in there, the red onion, and remember that was like a half, right? This is a pretty big salad. You know, so this right here will just, when I tell you it's gonna be refreshing, and then you guys can level it up on your end and add whatever else you wanna add or take a, you know, take away, right? So I'm gonna set this over here to the side. And now I'm gonna bring my tomatoes and I'm gonna prep my, my bell pepper. All right, now we just add our tomatoes in. All right, so now you just take your parsley and cut this up. Now you just sprinkle a little bit of this in, work it in here. You know what I mean? I'm gonna save a little bit back. You know what I mean? Because I like to just sprinkle some on the top, use it as a garnish. As you guys can see, it's a little on the windy side out here. But I'll tell you this, I don't have to worry about my briquettes. You know what I mean? Because when they burn, they burn, they reliable. Now we'll cut down this avocado. Well, I say cut down, but you know, one of the cool things about avocado is you just put it in here, cut it, trace it with the knife, then you can just do a little, and there you have it. All right, and then you want to get yourself a, you know, a decent blade. You want to make sure your avocado is a little bit more on the, I don't know, I guess we don't want it so ripe, because this one right here is great to make guacamole, you know, but it's a little soft if you ask me. Listen, you see the way it look? Look, nice, refreshing. And this right here with that garlic herb, you know what I mean? We just add our dressing here, and then we gonna mix it, then we wanna taste it, right? And then we adjust our seasoning. But I'm gonna tell you right now, our dressing is right. We started with that Hillman's, you know what I mean? That right there will do it. Once you have it, and you get this all mixed up, you know, you'll see. Just one second, just give me a minute. Okay, so if you come here and take a look at that, I've tasted this already, I told you it's already, it's perfect to my palate. You guys make the adjustments if you need to make them, you know, on your end. But look, look at this blend right here. Tell me mama won't be proud. All right, so with that being said, I'm finna cover, put this in there in the refrigerator, refrigerate for about 30 minutes, and then I'm finna show you the presentation. Hey, just to give you a recap, listen, you're gonna put, you guys are gonna put a big smile on your, you know, whoever you're making this meal for. Listen, it's nice. And I can tell you this right off the back. Once you made this pasta salad and you smell it with the Hellman's mayo, just the aromatic that comes off of that, it just, hey, it really speaks to your mind. Spring, summertime, right? And we infused everything with the charcoal, the original, you know, briquettes with honeysuckle ground turkey on the grill. Hands down, this is it right here. This is week three of a five part series. And don't forget to like, comment and share and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking and guess what folks you know how i do it i'm out peace